Welcome back, generals. In today's video, we'll be fighting the Battle of Perryville. But before I go into Perryville, I want to make some strategic uh, comments. So I want to talk about the. I want to talk a little bit about the strategic situation and um, where I am with my army organization. So strategically, we look up here at the intelligence service, and what we see is it says that I have. Um, the, the Rebs have 49 to 54,000, training of 41 to 46, and armory of 38 to 43. Now this can contrast with my first, um, my first um, campaign, which I failed at. And at this time, at Perryville, the Rebs had 82 to 87,000. Their training was 67 to 72%. And their armory was 47 to 52. So, so for me, I'm taking a, a much keener um, look at what my intelligence service is saying because I'm trying the hardest I can to keep those training and not only the army numbers down, but also their training down as well. And what I found in my last battle at Ayuka was that, um, in fact, um, most of the units that I was fighting were one and two star uh, brigades. We'll see if this carries over to Perryville. And um, where once in my first campaign I was fighting all three star units, we'll see what we face in uh, Perryville. Just looking at my camp. Okay. This is a very important thing here. I have, I have now... Maxed out medicine and economy. Medicine gives me back 20, 20, um, 20 percent, I believe it is. Yep, twenty percent back of my casualties. That's very important because when they come back, they bring their weapon, especially if they have a good weapon. And economy is um, the cost of uh, of weapons. Okay, so. I'm at a max discount of uh, 25%. Okay. 25% discount. So that's real important. That's real important. So now I'm working on training. And training, each increment lowers your, um, your veteran replacement cost by 2.5%. So I'm at 2 now. So let me, let's go and look at how my army looks like. Okay, here's first core. Um, what you see is a lot of units who are very low levels. Okay, I haven't touched these guys, except for my um, artillery, um, to make sure that I don't forget to keep, make sure that they have a full cruise. But I haven't touched these guys since Antietam. And the reason being is because if I use any any um, um, veterans, I want to make sure that I have the mass, max discount as possible. So, given that I win Perryville, I'm going to hit economy again. And it's going to give me another 2.5% discount before I have to go into Fredericksburg. So, and that will help a lot to maintaining, for example two-star regiments and just generally overall the um, uh, the quality of my of my army here's third core okay they didn't get a lot of action in Antietam some of this stuff is a little bit mixed up from other with other um, cores but as you can see I haven't, I haven't touched these guys. I'm, I'm basically trying to max them out to 2,000 as I go into battle. So here's second core. Second core is what I'm going to be going into with Perryville. And it's um, 10 brigades. And what you can see is I have brought them all up to 2,000. Okay. They are almost all regulars. Having very good weapons. Except for the 4th New York the 5th New York, and the 1st New Hampshire. Okay, so 4th New York, 41, and real close. 
to getting a two star, but more importantly, is their efficiency is going up real high. Note here is in 42, 45, 41. So these guys are, are, are on a par basically with um, my regulars, but they don't have um, a, a really good weapon. There's the 5th New York, same way. And 1st New Hampshire, they have a Palmettos. But the rest, all of my regulars have, see there's 1st Michigan, there's another one. So I'm going to bring you one, two, three, four, four guys. I hope to get this guy more experience. Four guys who I hope are going to, are going to get um, experience enough. This guy is looking real close already to uh, qualify to get a really good weapon. I'm, I'm basically using 40. I want 40 for my um, for my regulars. All right, and in this and so and so, and also in this battle, I'll be bringing five, five four, four artillery pieces. Okay, and we'll see what's going to happen. Now this uh, this battle is not the kind of battle that you can wipe people out with. So. Um, um, we'll see what I can do, but I would certainly like to wipe out some regiments because wiping out a regiment takes away all their experience. And if they survive, then they get a whole bunch of experience. Especially if they, you know, it's it's a it's the experience thing is based on kills. The more guys you kill, you kill, the more experience you get. The more guys they kill, the more experience they get. Okay, and that all works out great unless the uh, uh, brigade gets totally wiped out. If the brigade gets totally wiped out, well, that's all that, all that's that brigade and all this experience gone. So being able to wipe out units is real important. So let's get into uh, Perryville. Second Corps, 14 brigades. Off we go. All right. So here, basically, you're going to be attacked from two sides. You're going to be attacked from here and from here. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to bring up a whole bunch of guys here. These four regiments, four brigades here. What I want to do is these guys, bring white guys, Michigan guys. And let's move over here, just putting them over here for a second here. Get them over, get them over here. So I have to put these guys here, this guy's here. So they clear the forest as quickly as possible. And we'll put this guy over here. Let him run to over here and see what see what happens. He'll probably get shot up. Alright. And I'm gonna bring a 24 per howitzer to support them here. And I'll put a 20 pound parrot on this area here. And then I got my 24 pound howitzer and 10 pound ordnance to support the battle up there. I'll put him over here. All right, put this guy is over here. Um, two, three. So these three, I'm going to be shooting into this area here. I'm trying to get up into this area. And these three initially will be coming over to here.
just move this these guys into the clear so that we don't have to run through the through the bushes. Getting getting over there quickly is important. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start the battle and I want to halt. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send skirmishers everywhere. So I'm put skirmishers over there. I have skirmishers everywhere. Get these guys over there. These guys. Whoops, going over there. These guys. I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna put them. So, this guy, I want him to come up to here. This guy. Up to here. This guy. Over to here. Twenty-pound parrot. It's gonna go straight up to the farm and into the woods. Twenty-four pound howitzer. It's going to come right over, right over into here. All right. It's going to skirmishers, skirmishers. Skirmishers. Send these skirmishers into a skirmish line. Go quickly up to here. These guys going up here. Up here. Skirmishers, skirmishers, skirmishers. Going straight up. There. Take this area first. To there. These guys. Alright, off we go. There. Oh, come on on. Come on up here. Come on up here. These guys want to continue to there. These guys want to continue up to here. I'm gonna leave these guys in defense here. Oop, 
Let me see, poke. I'm not going to cover. Three star unit. One star unit, you see there? Two star, two star, two star. Look there, a one star cannon. Alright, that's good. That's good news. Find him. Hold. Skirmishers over here. Two star. One star, two star, one star.
see if they can come down. In there. It's full. Jim, I'm gonna need you down here. Trip driver's coming over here. Come in. Come on, boys. On him. They've obviously stripped to the left. Those guys. Halt. Halt. These guys are continuing to come down here. Bring these guys down here. We bring these guys down here. Over here. Keep on those artillery guys. So I want to flank. Real battle is going to be down here. This is where I really want to fight the battle. Pushing on him. Over there. Over here. Seem to be slam dunking these guys here. Let's tell you up. Looks like we've, somebody's already been demolished. Don't fire. Come down. These three are coming down here. This guy is firing on that artillery. Kill that artillery. Here. Okay. Two, three. Bring him over 
here. These guys over here. To here. I need to push on these guys now. on these guys. Look over here. Whoa, fire on them. Fire on them. Okay, fine. This 24 pounder over here. Come on. Just chase these guys down now. We need to destroy this. This group here needs to be de needs to be dead. We need to destroy these guys. Stay on those guys. I've got a lot of time left. These guys, we need to trap them. How are we doing over here? What are you doing? Fall back, man. We need to fire at them. Thirty thirty six seconds. Thirty six minutes to kill the rest of these guys enough. Right, let's move forward on these guys. Here. 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 
four pounder in there to just beat the halt. Hold back a bit. Thirteen minutes left. Come on, boys. Get in there. Get in there. Put him here. Okay. Now we're gonna do something crazy. Okay. down here come on come on everybody here charge 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 everybody charge them in the corner there let me see what can come out of that Two minutes left. Come on, man. Get in there. Come on. Let's see some surrenders. Surrenders. Ugh. Man. I wanted some surrenders. Okay. So, here we are. In the last battle, when I fought uh, Perry, they had 22,000 infantry, 500 cavalry, and 72 guns. So I'm chipping down on them, and they're going down, which is good. Here we have, I've got 2,200, and they've got 11. 11,000 there so so that's like a five to one that's a five to one um, win units and we had some 500 losses 24 pounder got a lot of kills this one got a lot of kills and my 24 400 kills. Okay, so they do quite well. And that could be problematic. But I did get a new um, general. Let's see if I have any goods here. In fields, supplies. Didn't get much from that. Five to one. is ready to become a regular you know I need at least 40 these guys aren't these guys aren't these guys aren't this is a good battle let's see how I did here 742 kills so good battle for him there you go, let's see, let's, let's check my armory. Okay. 
kind of low on Harper's Fairies, 1855, because I use a lot of them. But I've got a lot in the, in the, in stock. I probably have to shift more towards, um, a little bit towards Springfield 1855. Okay, skirmishers. There you go. Um, um, like I say, I'm I am turning into more of a uh, grant in that I want to be able to just wipe these guys out and um, uh, being able to to wipe them out makes a huge difference. Let's take a look at the battle map again and let's see. Okay, what do they say here? Jefferson Davis is very sorry to announce that he cannot spare more troops. Oh, that's nice. And then we receive a uh, report from our own people that says the Confederates are poor, reinforcing their positions with 11,900 raw recruits. Okay, so the army is 50, 55 foot. Their training has gone up a bit um, to 54, 59. So, Unfortunately, you know, half of that army got away from me. Um, their army, their army is still quite low. Fredericksburg, I need, I need to do them a, a, a severe blow. I need to do them a severe blow. So they're at fifty to fifty-five thousand. And let's take a look at where I'm standing, just, just without any reinforcements. 54 to 55,000, just put my, what I got, and I'm at 60,000. Okay. 60,000. And these guys, I'm going to try to pump all of them up to 2,000 again. I think I have the troops. There. So. These are, these guys, you know, here were my, um, my new brigade, my new corps, they need training, and um, they especially need to go to 2000. In my career, I'll be pumping um, one, um, one more into training first to reduce cost of veterans, and then I will be outfitting my entire, entire army for Fredericksburg. So there you go. Perryville. Uh, pretty well conked them on the heads there, eh? Hope you enjoyed uh, the video and the gaming. And until next time, see you later.